the town where I was born lived a man who sailed to sea, and he told us of his life in the land of submarines. Greetings, everybody. Larry here, and welcome back to Larry's Fountain Pen. Today, I like to introduce a nib that I've never heard of. It's called a Knox nib, K-N-O-X, Knox nib, number six nib. Right here. And it's a gold-plated steel nib made in Germany. And uh, a special thank you to Pen Chalet for sending me this nib so I can share with all the viewers. And uh, what I'm going to do now is some of my viewers asked me if I could show them how to put a number six nib into a Jinhao pen. I'm going to do that now. Then I'm going to ink it up and do a writing sample for you. So, here's a Jinhao X750. You can do these on the 750s, the uh, X450s, and the uh, 159s. So here we go. And here's the Jinhao nib. So I'm going to take it out. And you want to be careful how you hold your nib. You don't want to just pull and bend it all out of shape. Just kind of get the sides, like I'm doing here. If you don't have a grip, you can uh, Goulet grip. Uh, you can get those at Goulet Pins or other pin companies that sells grip. Uh, check also the Pin Chalet, see if they have them. Uh, Anderson Pins. Uh, I'm sure just about everybody carries a, a grip. So, because sometimes it's real tight. Now this, kind of rock it back and forth and pull out. And that's all there is to it. It has a little groove that it'll go right back in. So it only goes in one way. It can't go in that way. Can't go in that way. It'll go one way and one way only. Boom. You just want to make sure that the feed is in line with the nib. You don't want that nib like that get it about so but then again you can always adjust the feed to your nib for your ink flow as well so let's change it out what do you say set those two here pick this one back up and I'll put my new Knox nib that was sent to me by Pen Chalet and I really want to thank them for supporting me and looks pretty okay to me so I believe I'm ready and you're seeing it firsthand slides right in there Looks good. Looks really good. So, we'll see how it's going to act after I ink it up. If it's going to leak or if it's not going to ride so I can do some adjustings to it. So, the ink I'm going to use today is Monaco Red. And I want to thank a friend of mine, a fellow pen reviewer, Chris uh, for sending me samples of ink. Great guy. So let's get this show on the road. And me, I always get ink on my hand. That's just me. So we'll get this little jewel ready here. Now 
Now I'm not going to ink it up all the way. Just enough to get it started here for a quick test. That's all. That's a lot. I'll take some of that and I'll empty it out when I'm done writing. I hope that looked pretty easy to you because it really was. I remember my first time doing this scared to death. I learned from Stephen Brown on his channel how to do this and uh, I watched it several times and even asked questions and uh, also on uh, the uh, Brian Goulet uh, videos he shows how to do the same thing. So you've got to start somewhere and I was scared to death to do this but after I learned I got it. And as you can see, I already got the ink on me, and that's okay. They're your pens, and you love your pens, so you're going to do all you can for your pens, and it washes off. So, I'll be right back with some paper. Okay, here we go. Pen to paper. I just changed out the Jin Hao nib, still medium nib, and put the new Knox medium steel nib into the pen. Again, this nib was sent to me by Pen Chalet. Thank you very much. So, let's get to writing. What do you say? Here we go. The test. Are we ready? All right. Hey, it writes. Oh, man, does it write. Now, I can't believe it. It really writes well. I'm doing this. I'm just checking ink. Look at that. It just comes out nice. Look how wet it is. Wow. Check for wetness. It's going to be wet, I'm telling you, right now. It's going to be wet right now. Watch. You ready? Let's go. Wet. Good nib. Nice nib. I am totally impressed. Pinchelet, I thank you very much for sending me this nib. I've never heard about it. Then I ran across it. And you were kind enough to send me these and other products to sh for me to share with all my viewers out here. So here we go. This is with no pressure. And this is with pressure. And it does get line variation. This nib is nice. Nice. I'm going to have to buy some. Yes. Wow. I think I'll keep the little bit of ink that's left in here and use it in my journals when I write now. I've got six pens I carry. Plus my delta, that's seven. This will make eight, but I didn't put a whole lot of ink in it. Look at that. Folks, I'm telling you, this Knox nib knocks it out. I am totally impressed. And I am just not saying this just to say it, because I will tell you the good and bad about the products I review. Because I need to be honest with all my viewers.
Look at that, it just glides on paper. Hmm. Let's try upside down. Not much on the upside down. But it's really heck regular. I love it. I really, really like that nib. Nice nib. Now you got yourself a great pen, a great writer for just a few bucks. So, with that said, I hope the viewers that wanted me to change out the nib will see this. And uh, I hope you all enjoyed this nib as much as I have to show it to you. It was just a great nib to write with. It's a great enjoyment. I'm just really pleased to be able to write with this nib. I mean, I've never heard of it until I accidentally ran, a, ran across it and, uh, and then I asked the Penn Chalet people about it and boom, they sent it to me and here it is right here. Now, here it is for all y'all out there. I hope you enjoyed this video because I sure enjoyed being able to do this for y'all. So, as always, if you haven't subscribed to my channel and you like my videos, hit that subscribe button up there. And don't forget to leave me some comments down here. Love to hear from you. Love to hear your thoughts. And even mention what part of the country you're in. And i like to know how cold it is. Right now, I'm in Fort Worth, Texas, and right now it's uh, 2.21 p.m., and it's 28 degrees, partly cloudy. This morning, when I got up, it was like 16 degrees. And Jason, a friend of mine that uh, is a pin reviewer uh, in North Dakota, he did a video for me because I wanted to see all the snow and what it looked like outside. And he showed me it was 18 below. That is cold. And he even had hot coffee threw up in the air and it came down and it was like icicles. So, thank you for watching. I hope you really enjoyed this review of the Knox nib that was sent to me by Penn Chalet. And uh, you can get all that information where to order from Penn Chalet right here posted on my channel so Merry Christmas Happy New Year to my next review remember be safe do not text and drive talk to you later